Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Popper Slivers, and we won the die roll. Let's do this against Odo 2020. Oh, wow. Look at this hand. How interesting. How interesting, indeed. Don't know how much I'm liking this, but I guess all we can do is draw into gas, and we can play everything. Sure. All three of our random... All three... All of our two random off colors, but we can do both. So we're going to call red here. Break him out a little bit. And then we can do whatever we feel like doing. Uh-oh. Counters, huh? All right. This is uh, not what I want to see here. That's, that's not what I want to see there. All right, let's just put down the winged. We're just going to try to apply pressure as fast as possible while we can. And we'll do a refill when we need to. Next turn, we can drop another winged and a striking. And I think we've got at least three turns before they're going to be able to pop off, depending on what they're doing here. Add two green. An artifact lands. Okay, so is this artifacts? Atog Affinity with a Sparazzi Sparazzi Rue yeah this is Artifacts but it is like the combo deck version so we can fly overhead which is good I think what do I want to see here really good gem hide to really get set up for a nice lead the stampede and just fill the board Automatically crack that spear. Ancient stirrings. Let's see what they reveal. I haven't seen you. Or when it dies, you may untap target artifact. Or another artifact dies. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Well, they can uh, probably play that next turn. More land. That's not great. It's not really what we want to be seeing here. But it is what it is. I don't want to see now. I want to see anything but land now. Really. Get me some lords out here. Let's see if they go for the scorpion. If they're going to set up a little bit more. What do you think? What are you thinking? Golem Foundry. Whenever you, you put a charge, remove three, create a three, three. Okay. Fair enough. Cracking that for blue. When it dies, return another target artifact from your graveyard to your hand. Ooh, they are setting up nicely. I don't like it. We just need some power. Big power. Uh, I think I still want to see, like, a gem hide. Slam a gem hide and then lead the stampede, try to get a lord down. Because they're about to start cracking the whip. That's all they can do for this turn. No affinity creatures yet. They may not even be playing with a whole lot of them. There's a lord. That's good. Question is, do I want to play the Lord and just get in for six right now? Or do I want to tap myself out? I think we're just going to play the Lord, get in for six. Let's go. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Three unknown cards. See what they can do. They crap their they crapped. They cracked their scary. 
but they had the backup island, so... So what is the play here? They just need something they can replay over and over again, right? From what I'm seeing? Yeah, the altar. Ashiad's altar. Ashnod's altar. Sacrifice a creature, you add some mana. So they can... Might be able to do it. And this dies return an artifact. Hmm, I don't know if they're quite there yet. They're really darn close, though. They're getting all their combo pieces really nicely. Mass Vandal is going to be pretty nice in this matchup. I do not think we're going to need striking, so he'll be a cut. We're going to get Chromatic Sphere by cracking the Assistant now. See what they can piece together here. And this is an untap. They untap target artifact. Where's the tapping coming in? That's what I want to know. Alright, so they could get down a golem. If they so choose. And they might have to if they want to crack it for more mana. They need to make another play here. They're going to get down the scorpion. They do make a golem. Guess what? We're still swinging in the air for eight. Maybe more. Not quite more. Alright, time to go ahead and play out lead. Beautiful, we can play that lord. In the order. About this. Slam another lord. Not dead yet. They're pretty dang close. But maybe they know they have the win. That I mean we that was the best possible case scenario that we could have gotten, I feel like. So it's on them to uh complete what they need to complete here. It's either all or nothing right now. I feel like they would have conceded if they didn't have the combo in hand or something like completing the combo, but maybe they're going to try to dig for an answer. Maybe they got a board wipe in here. Let's see, what could we, what are we playing around? Fiery Cannonade? Is that one? No? Alright, they conceded. Let's go to the sideboard. Mass Vandal, thank you. They're going to go ahead to the play lobby. That's a bummer. This is such a cool deck to face up against. It's always sketchy with like the combo decks, right? You're like racing against the clock, but it is a cool artifact deck, and I'm kind of bummed that they left, because uh, I like to play those decks. I do. I enjoy it. I enjoy seeing them go off when they do, or at least trying to see if we can race to beat them before they go off. Just like that game. That was sketchy. That was sketchy. They were very, very close. But um, I'll still post this one. It's still a good game. Leave a like, leave a comment, thanks for tuning in, thanks for checking out the video, make sure to stay tuned for more Popper Slivers, and we will see you guys in the next one.